Well, here we are again, another video. Today I am bringing to you, well first let me say happy holidays. I haven't even said happy holidays to everybody. I hope you enjoyed time with your family and friends and ate a lot, drank a lot, and enjoyed. That's what it's all about, right? That's what the holidays are all about, really truly. It's enjoying your family and friends. So today, what do I have for you today? Well, why does my collar look crooked? Is that just me? It's just, I don't know. It just look crooked. <laughs> anyway, what I got for you today? Well, Grandma got some thrifted trench coats. You heard me? Thrifted trench coats. I don't think I've ever did a video like that. So I have three vintage thrifted coats that I bought, at least two of them are, no. Um, coats that I've bought that is perfect for this weather if you're in a warmer climate. I know some people have cold weather right now, really cold, but I'm in Florida, so right now I still have trench weather. So if you're in that, still in that type of weather or if you want ideas for next year, I hope you get something out of this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the button, ring the bell, all types of things. You've been on YouTube enough to know all those things. And if you've looked at me at least five times, come on, join the Butterfly family. We're glad to have you. And for all my old subscribers who's been with me from the beginning, you know always, happy holidays. I love you. Thank you so much. Who doesn't like this pattern? Who doesn't like... This is leopard, right? Leopard? Yeah, I think it's leopard. Who doesn't like this pattern? Okay. Every... Some... You have at least this something. A shirt, socks, a pair of slippers. Something with this pattern. And the good thing about this trench coat is the lining has that beautiful fuchsia. Gorgeous. Let me show you. So here's the lining. Just beautiful. Now this one is... Let me see the information for you. Now, this one is the one that I think is not vintage. And how can you test that vintage? Well, if it was vintage, it wouldn't have this type of tag. At least from my knowledge. Yeah. See how they all have... A label inside that okay. some of them have a big label inside of the coat or shirt or whatever you're looking at it'll have a big label sure, me... that I thrifted I just want to show you the label see how this has this big patch label on the inside that's how you know that is vintage as well that patch work right there they do not do things like this anymore so this is by the brand uh it says original vintage weatherproof i i don't know honey but um this jean shirt oh anyway. it's not a part of this video so i'm dra grabbing clothes and things falling all off me and i can't mix all those things together let's talk about the trench again I love the tortoiseshell buttons that's on it. I love it when something doesn't have regular buttons. So that goes with it. The fuchsia. Come on. You know how it is. Now, I got my handy dandy iPad. Y'all used to that by now where I, I bring up all the outfits. Because as usual, I don't know when I wore this. Okay, so I wore this trench with these leather pants that I got from Express. Um, and this, the light keeps going on. Y'all already know the deal. Whenever I'm filming in natural light, it goes in, out, in, out. Crazy. Um, this beautiful fuchsia shirt. I love the fact that it is see-through here. 
I wonder if you can see it. See, it's got that mesh material, and then it's like a bodice. Bodice? A bodice, yeah. Um, and it is balloon sleeves, and it wraps around. So it is a gorgeous shirt that I got for from that. Me. And the shoes, of course, that I wore with it, If you've been following my channel, you already know my Jimmy Choo's. I've had these shoes for years. Okay, these shoes I have. These shoes are older than my youngest grandbaby. <laughs> I've had these shoes long in my life. Yep, these shoes are old, and they are genuine Jimmy Choo. I don't know if you can see it, and there's the label on the inside. And it has the same print. And I love the fact that it has that black uh, um, crisscross there. And, of course, this is a, a round square kind of peeped, peeped, peeped toe. But with the high heel, I wouldn't care if it was round or not. These shoes right here, I have them for years until they just fall apart great investment in those it was a pretty penny back when i bought it i don't even know if they really sell those anymore probably not yes you need a yellow trench come on now it has the tie around the um the bottom of the sleeve it's got the big um Okay, what happened to, oh yeah. It's got the big yellow buttons. This is the same as the coat. The lining is yellow. This whole thing is yellow. Now this is by Dress Barn. And of course Dress Barn has been around. I don't know if they are still around. Um, so this is, you know, when they were popular. So you might as well say this is still old. And the color, I just, I had to get it. This yellow can be worn summer, spring, and then of course fall. Black pumps and my, I just, this black polka dot white and then all black that's scrunched in the front. I got this from Shein. Oh my goodness. You talking about thick, great material. I like the fact of the bodice here, bodice, and it is very flattering. If you have a belly, you know I tell you all the time, I would love to show you things that flatter you when you have a belly. Anything that scrunches in the front is very forgiving and very good if you have a belly. Um, I usually wear, but if you pair that with some boots and those pumps, it's okay, okay? I am a grandmother. I am, you know, I'm almost 60 years old. If I want to wear a dress a little past my knee or at my knee, I can do it because I still look good. But, um, so I don't know how, if you want to get that cut, how that would look because of the way it is, the way the scrunge is in the, in the, um, front but it is a wonderful going to work outfit that i will be wearing to work so it you know it's a great work dress zebra print come on now come on now when i saw this in the thrift store i was like you know i fight people i didn't told y'all that before i will fight you over a thrifted item don't mess you see me at it you all on my back you trying to get it too wait because I will put it in my cart and ride around with it for 15, 20 minutes. Okay, this is by a brand called Appraisal. And um, it's black on the inside. And it has the big black buttons. And isn't it, oh, this can go with so many things. You can color block it. You can print you know, cross print. What do they call that when it's crossing the prints? I don't know. Like this shirt, see? It's two shirts. 
it is this black and white shirt that is a different pattern and then it is a black and white pinstripe shirt under it so it's two shirts I have on but it looks great together and then I paired it with my Mac fuchsia and then I put on some nice different layers of purple and fuchsia earrings so I color block print do you honey do you make yourself original you see I did the yellow trench with the black and white now I did the black and white with the yellow oh my goodness you know I rant and rave about this shirt that I got from Shein yes it has the bodice or the bodice that you pull up on top let me see if you can really see it because it's so bright there you go you pull up on top and you've seen this shirt before if she ain't still got it i put it right here so you can know what it what it's called and where to get it and i paired that with a pair of red pumps see i took i did the red so i color block you know okay i'm trying to teach you something but you know some people may say you look a mess that don't go together what are you doing it should be black on black white on white red you know don't mix that print that looks crazy you do what makes you ain't even got to copy me do what makes you happy i'm just trying to show you ideas so that you can get an idea of things you could wear so you might think oh gosh i love that but i would have paired it with red lip okay so do your red lip or you might have said oh i can't do that that's too loud too much going on because some people are true neutral lovers and of course i love an all neutral look who don't that is beautiful but i gotta get i gotta mix things up but the thing is, style and fashion is what you make it, right? Your style. You may follow all the trends and just be trendy. Good for you. You look good in it, baby. Show that confidence. Or you may say, okay, honey, I'm your age, sweetie. You dr you dr you're doing too much. That's your opinion, too. So it's the wonderful thing is we can all have our different opinions, right? But the thing is, ladies, what I care about is that you love yourself on the inside. Outside doesn't matter. If you love yourself on the inside, honey, you can have your own rag of bones and it will show. All right, my beautiful butterflies. Quick video. I will see you on the next one. Bye.